Engineers Ireland CPD policy came into effect on the 1st of January 2017. In order to enable members to adhere to the policy, Engineers Ireland has developed MyCPD, an online recording tool. So let's take a look at MyCPD. You sign in to MyCPD on the Engineers Ireland website using your existing username and password. As soon as you enter MyCPD, you land on the record page, which allows you to record your CPD activities. The next tab is My Records, where you can view all your recorded activities for the current year. The third tab is the Help section. On the right hand side is the CPD Declaration section. This section is used once you have met your own CPD requirements based on your own personal circumstances. You can adhere to the CPD policy in one of three ways. For most members, that means undertaking and recording a minimum 35 hours CPD activities. For those members working for a CPD accredited employer, a special dispensation is available. Finally, for members who, under certain circumstances, are unable to undertake 35 hours CPD, they can request an exemption. Let's look at how a member uses MyCPD to adhere to the CPD policy based on each of these three possibilities. Let's take the example of John Ryan. John has signed into the Engineers Ireland website using his username and password. On the record page, John sees the number of hours he needs to record. It is the beginning of the year and John sees the message, you need to record at least another 35 of the 35 CPD hours in 2017. So John starts to record his CPD activities. Let's imagine he attended a one hour lunch and learn on the EU machinery directive delivered by one of his colleagues on Wednesday the 8th of February. So he enters in the name of the activity and the date. If it was an activity that was over more than one date, he would click on the enter start and end date. He then enters the time spent and the CPD type, in this case, work-based learning, and the CPD subtype, here, a work presentation. He enters in the CPD provider organization, in this case, the name of his employer. If John wishes to, for example, if he is applying for a professional title, he can enter in the competence that this corresponds to. Finally, he can choose to upload a document associated with this CPD activity or add a link. The document could be a certificate of attendance or a flyer with details. And he saves the data. Immediately, John sees that the number of hours he is required to record has changed from 35 to 34. And indeed, if John goes to the My Records section, he will see that this section has been updated with this new activity, entitled An Introduction to the EU Machinery Directive on the 8th of February for one hour. It was a work-based learning activity, specifically a work presentation provided by his employer. John also sees the document he uploaded here. So let's imagine John continues to record all the different learning activities he undertakes throughout the year. When John exceeds 35 hours, he receives a new message. You have completed the 35 CPD hours required and may now declare for 2017. He is then prompted to declare. Having clicked on declare, John is brought to the declarations page. He sees confirmation that he has recorded his required hours, thereby meeting the Engineers Ireland CPD policy. He is also reminded of his commitment to the Engineers Ireland Code of Ethics. He then clicks on I agree and he receives the message. You have completed your CPD declaration for 2017. No further action is required. You may continue to record further CPD activities if you wish.
John can continue to record new CPD activities and those activities will appear on a CPD records page. He can also download a CSV file of his records if required. Now let's take the example of Jane Ryan. Jane works for an organisation who holds the Engineers Ireland CPD Accredited Employer Standard. The CPD Accredited Employer Standard requires a minimum of 35 hours CPD per annum recorded on average for all engineers and technicians. These employers are audited in order to retain the standard. Members employed by an employer holding the Engineers Ireland CPD Accredited Employer Standard avail of a special dispensation and may forego recording individual CPD activities and simply upload a single document detailing their CPD activities from their employer as proof of meeting the 35 hour requirement. So once Jane has completed more than 35 hours CPD recorded with her employer, she can choose to complete her CPD declaration. Jane goes to the declaration section of my CPD and chooses I work for a CPD accredited employer. She enters in the name of her employer and then uploads a document which confirms she has carried out the requisite number of CPD hours for her employer. This could be an Excel file, a Word document or a PDF listing her CPD activities. Jane is then reminded of her commitment to the Engineers Ireland Code of Ethics. She clicks on I agree and she receives the statement. You have completed your CPD declaration for 2017. No further action is required. You may continue to record further CPD activities if you wish. However, if Jane wishes, she may choose not to declare based on her employment with a CPD accredited employer but to simply record her individual CPD activities using my CPD and make her declaration when she has met the 35 hour minimum requirement. The CPD policy applies to all non-student members. However, Engineers Ireland recognizes that there are circumstances where a member is unable to meet the 35 hour CPD activities requirement. Members will have the opportunity to inform Engineers Ireland of these circumstances using my CPD. Finally, the help section includes links to useful documents such as the CPD policy itself, what counts as CPD and screencasts such as this video. There is also a list of frequently asked questions and answers. So as you can see, my CPD has been designed to be straightforward and quick to use, allowing you the ability to record and refer to your CPD activities at any time, any place and throughout your career.